Welcome to the eighth oldest stadium in the country, Vaught Hemingway in Oxford, Mississippi, home of the Ole Miss Rebels, where the fans never lose a tailgate and don't plan on losing the game today. The calendar has been circled for both teams in this one, two of college football's elite, ready to go head-to-head -head in a top-five showdown. As we'll see the number four team in the country, the Oregon Ducks, taking on the fifth-ranked team in the land, the Ole Miss Rebels. Glad to have you with us for EA Sports College Football. I'm Reese Davis, David Pollock, and Justin Palmer with me in the booth. Guys, we are ready to tee it up. The Rebels will kick it away to start us off. Fair catch called for and made. to the running back from the shotgun. At the 35, he's open. Oh, look out, there he goes. The 20, he's at the 10. And he'll sprint in for the score. Touchdown, Ducks! And these offensive coordinators tell you they want to start fast and they want to establish the run game. That is exactly what you did. First drive, you hand the football off, making the big explosive run, setting the tone for this football game. Now they'll line up for what they hope is automatic. And the PAT makes it 7-0. That kind of drive will boost your confidence. One play, hit the big pass, put a touchdown on the board. The kickoff team out there set to boot it away. Here he comes from inside his own five. Nice job by the kickoff team. Everybody stayed in their lanes and they'll stop him at the 16. On first down, here comes this offense. Easy. Hot, hot. They'll give it to the back. Nice move to pick up yardage. Gets it out to the 20 after he pick up with four. And the Rebels headed quickly to the line. Back to throw, it's dark. Gets open down the middle. Right down the gut of the field. He's at the 20. Touchdown, oh, Miss! And once he found daylight, it was Kenny by the door, baby. An unbelievable timing with the quarterback and wide receiver. Get it to him in his hands, right on the spring where he can run after the catch and do some serious damage. And that's why he's so dangerous, because of that ability after the catch. For these DBs in this game, you've got to tackle the reception. Because if you don't get him down, he's taking it to the house. And we're all square as he's set to kick it away. On the run from inside his own five. Nice job executing all of the assignments as they put a stop to that return at the 22. was clicking everything went well Palmer they executed and got the touch game and they were really were in a nice rhythm as well and I'd love to see that here on the next drive too just to keep doing what you're doing everything seems to be working and you seem to have this defense on their heels he wants to throw here on second down part in the backfield it's James and just a short safe pass play they pick up a few again this is a running back that can hurt you running in between the tackles out in space. They like to throw to him out on the perimeter as he picks up a couple yards there. Takes it 
it from the gun on third down. Oh, what a spectacular layout and catch. Man, that's a tough play to make. When you're that far down the field and you, you're trying to control your body and run as you're laying out, that's a really great effort, really good concentration, and that is how you make your quarterback look really good. Looking for a gap. It's James. A solid pickup there before the defense is able to make the stop. You know, it's so important for offenses to want to keep third downs manageable. The way you do that is by having success like that, running the football on first down. Might as well stick with him. Running with power. And he tried to string out that run, but there was nowhere to turn it upfield, and he's forced out of bounds for a loss. It's a bad sign on offense if you have that many people running free and running back. That means guys up front aren't getting their blocks. Just too many hats getting to the ball carrier. I love his effort making multiple guys miss, but still, it's a negative play. Snagged on the outside, it's Johnson. And on that out route third down, guys, you just want to see a little bit better execution. You want to see more depth on the route. You want to see a little bit more of an accurate throw so he doesn't have to come back and fight for it so that we can pick up the first down a lot easier. A little bit better by the quarterback and receiver, and as a result, they do get the catch, but it sets up fourth and short. This is the absolute right call. They're going for it on fourth down. He'll try to throw and pick up the first down. And it's knocked away, and they don't convert on fourth down. Man, that is just a great job on defense there on a fourth down, making a play on the ball in the air. Everybody had their eyes on the quarterback, but having great timing, swatting the ball away and doing it clean. No P.I. And as a result, our defense has earned a rest. They're coming off the field. Here's the give off the left side. After the pickup of nine, it's second and one. The Rebels in the hurry up. Looking downfield, it's dark. How about that play to get a hand in there and force the incompletion? That is a nice swap. Even Dikembe Mutombo would love to wave his fingers side to side and say, no, no. Went up top on second down. That leaves him needing a yard here on third down. Direct snap. That'll be enough for the first down as they stop him at the 43-yard line. And the Rebels come to the line with a fresh set of downs. Comes out throwing on first down. Fires the pass. Interception. And the ball slipped out. He was trying to get that return going instead. He'll hand it to his offense at the 38. And that is a roller coaster. We got the pick. Oh, no, we just lost it. Oh, no, we got it back. At the end of the day, the defense David still had. Yeah, and all you're trying to do is force turnovers, create plays. Nice job getting the interception. And listen, when you're running to the football, trying to block, that ball comes out. Nice job falling on it, creating the turnover. You know, I think a big part of this isn't necessarily scoring a touchdown on that play, but you're just trying to get your offensive line in the rhythm of the game. Let those big fellas get lathered. They didn't get much on first down in second and nine. Back to the ground with the running back. Just a solid stop by this sophomore. to the middle. Got his man! They convert on third down as he gets it to the 46-yard line. When you're a playmaker like this guy is, your coaches are going to dial up plays intended for you, especially on third down. That's what you saw in that last play. There was no question where the quarterback was going with that football. All week long, they decided on the biggest downs of this game, we're going to target our best player. And we're going to make sure that he gets looks. It doesn't matter what the coverage is. You saw it right there on that. And here comes the offense on second down. He's 
is looking to throw. Right down the middle. Makes the grab. They get him on the ground, and with that, we'll head to the second quarter. They'll break the seal on this quarter here on first down. They'll try it on the ground, running the counter. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. That defense is about getting off the football. If that defensive line can be disrupted, get in the backfield right away, mess up those pullers' actions on those counter plays, it can be really advantageous for the defense. Great job on the defense being hyperactive. Last play was a near disaster now, dealing with second and 13. Off play action. He'll take a shot. He makes the catch in the end zone. Touchdown, Oregon. Oregon, number seven, with the catch in the end zone. Lining up to add another. And the extra point is true, and they're on top by seven. That drive covered 62 yards for the touchdown. And the final 34 yards covered by that touchdown pass. He'll bring it back from inside his five. Couldn't find a way to create that broken field as he stopped at the 25. Ole Miss ready to send the offense onto the field. After that last pick, David, they really need to take care of the ball this time. No doubt. And Palmer, I want to know what Spurrier said to you on the sideline after a pick. Do that again, and you'll be right here beside me for the rest of the game. <laughs> you got to go out. You got to call your plays. And I hope this coaching staff isn't going to be afraid to throw at this drive. Offense getting set for first down. Let's go! To the air. It's dark. And the pressure was too much. They get him at the 15. The Rebels want to crank the tempo. Looking to pass on second down. And he really needed to hold on to that one, but it was not loose, and third down is coming. I'm not positive, but that first down marker might be in the next county. On third and long, hoping to throw beyond the sticks. Got his man downfield. And they were looking for a chunk play, and they got it. The explosive picks up more than 30. Hey, the defense knew coming into this one this guy was going to be a factor, but they have done nothing to stop him. They don't have any answers. This guy already has over 100 yards receiving, and we're not even done the half. And that incomplete pass caused by the big hit on first down, second down coming. Well, that looked like it was going to be a completion, but how about the defender making the hit and forcing the incompletion? Looking to throw it again. Takes the easy throw in the flat. And he's just run out of bounds, maybe living to fight another day there. It'll be a loss on the play. How about the job and recognition by the defense? They knew exactly what they were trying to set up, and they had multiple defenders surrounding that intended target so that there was nowhere for him to go into that And the Rebels are on the move. Well, look, that wasn't a touchdown. That was a massive play for this offense. They needed...
some momentum. They needed to find a rhythm. What better way than converting on third down? Awesome job by the quarterback. Looking to pass. It's Dart. Makes his connection. Got enough space. And he'll run it into the end zone. Touchdown, Rebel! This offense is really dangerous because of the weapons they have on the perimeter of the field. And you're seeing they go to these guys early and they try to give them opportunities in one-on-one -on -one situations and vertically down the field. Two passing touchdowns now early for this offense. Why not double the try total and go for two? Wants to go up top. Into the end zone for the two-point conversion, and with that, they take the lead. Almost ready to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. On the move from inside is five. And he'll be brought down after a solid effort on that return. see a little more scoring with this drive. It's going back and forth. This is like two heavyweights just trading blows, David. What has this defense got to do to get a stop here? I, I tell you what, man. When you're giving up points like this and you've got no momentum, you've got to find somebody that can make a play that creates something. And listen, if, you're, if they're scoring anyways, let's be aggressive. Let's blitz for them. Let's, let's make sure we're making them feel discomfort in some way, shape, or form. Wide open downfield. Cross at the 30. He's got away. Ripping through the defense and getting it all the way down to the 24-yard line. I know it's early in the game, but defensively after that play, you know you have to tackle the catch. When this guy gets the ball in his hands, he is so dangerous after the fact. So it's okay for him to make catches. You just got to get him to the ground quickly. The big defensive tackles in the middle, they're not always the best pass rushers, but they are small. And I say country small. They put their hands on you. Feel it. They lock people out of the line of scrimmage. They create separation. They wrap running backs up. And usually, they don't get out of the midst of those big boys. With the catch, it's Ferguson. They make the stop, but the sweet rolling catch is plenty to give them a first down. And the Ducks come to the line with a new set of downs. Looking for a man. It's Gabriel. And this will be incomplete. A big hit there for the second down. And the big tight end, a lot of times, that's a bigger strike zone, a bigger dude. And you can tell they put the hit on him. And that ball came out, and it came to the turf. Nice job playing physical by this defense. Going to work on second down. The red zone is still some ground to cover to pick up that first down. Fired on the last play, they'll go back to the air. And he's got it! Touchdown, Ducks! And I just love the execution by this offense. Late in the half, man, you want to take the lead. You want to get that momentum on your side, and they do it. They finish it with the passing game. And I'll tell you what, keep that passing game up. You can keep this lead, keep the momentum, and keep putting up numbers. And the extra point splits the uprights. About to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. And as the ball makes its way into the end zone, it'll be a touchback. They'll bring it out to the 25. The Ole Miss offense ready to go back to work. The way this game started, you feel as if you have to score a touchdown every time you have it, and now we'll see if they can respond. Yeah, and I wonder how much pressure that puts on the offense. Jesse, like, you know this is back and forth, and I gotta score, and every possession matters so much. What does that do you as a quarterback? Well, it puts a lot more pressure on you, for sure, to feel like I gotta make every third down throw. If guys are open vertically down the field, I gotta hit them, too. We can't let our serve get broken. 
and they couldn't connect on the deep shot. Let's see if things get worse. There's a flag on the field. Which way is this going to go? Ready. Defense a little too eager on that last one, and now it's first and five. To the air, it's Dart. Throws to the wideout. It's in! Complete, and he's lucky to get that one back. Almost intercepted. And the defense is making it tough on this quarterback early. They already have an interception. They almost came away with another one there. They're doing a great job reading his eyes and breaking on the ball. On the double. Offense gets set for second down. He's looking to throw. This time it's complete. And the defense makes the immediate tackle, but he has enough for the first down. They'll try the run. That's what you expect from a senior. Don't give them any extra yards. Great tackle there. There's a timeout call as this offense tries to find a way to draw a little closer. Here comes the offense on second down. 325. Try to get it to the edge. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. IndyCar tempo as they head to the line for this third down play. Clock running. From the gun, wants to pass. Oh, they really could have used that catch there. Physical pass defense. It brings up a fourth down. Tell you what, I don't know if the offense was expecting man coverage that time. Third and long in field goal range, you're expecting it to be zone. Instead, they lock them up man to man, everybody on an island, everybody hey, won. Hey. They get the incompletion now setting up fourth. The Rebels will go here for it go. here on fourth down. He'll try to throw and pick up the first down. Drilled as he throws, and they stop him on fourth down with the heat. Here's a timeout on the field. Tight game here late in the first half. The Ducks ready to go back to work on offense. Boy, David, they would love to stack another touchdown on top of that last drive. And this offense did such a good job on the last drive. Everything in rhythm, moved the ball down the field, didn't make those mistakes, Jesse, and they need to do it again on this one. Yeah, you're right. They had the defense on their heels. You wonder what sort of communication was going on that sideline. What sort of changes were they able to make? Because they got to stop the bleeding right now. Back to pass. It's Gabriel. Fires to the wideout. Throws into double coverage and it's picked off. And he's brought down after the pick, but not before putting his offense in business. And that's just excellent coach. Man, cover one, nowhere to throw the football. Look at everybody playing man across the board. You still got the safety in the middle of the field. Nobody open. And if I'm the QB man, I don't need to force it. I don't force it into tight windows if it's not there. He throws it, unfortunately, gets the interception. Bad decision by the QB there. Now second and ten from their own ten. He's looking to throw. Unloads to fires into traffic. Intercepted. He'll go out of bounds at the four-yard line, and he almost had a pick six. This is obviously not a great start for this quarterback here. Two interceptions already in this game. He's got to do a much better job with his decision there. This offense has been running wild in the first half, but wait, they want more before they go to the locker room. Let's it go to the end zone. Can't make the grab as he was going for six right there. Well, the game plan's been pretty simple offensively, right? They are taking shots, and they're being aggressive throwing it down the field. This guy's already got two touchdown passes. We're still in the first half. But on that last one, he was looking for number three. 
Looking to the end zone. Fires into traffic. Picked off. He steps out of bounds, but not only does he get the ball back, what a return to set up his offense. You've just seen in this game, the ball has just gotten away from him a little bit. A couple of times, just hasn't been able to put it where he wants to. And as a result, that's now his second pick thrown in this game. He'll come out throwing on first down. And it's incomplete. If you're going to take a hit like that, you might as well hang on to the ball. You always want to give your big-time players a chance. That might have been too much of a chance to give right there. And, and I know I'll give you a chance when it's one-on-one, -on -one, but not two-on-one. -on -one. you got to see that. you got to understand that they're trying to take away this guy. There's a reason they're trying to take him away. What else can I do now to take advantage of that defense? Looking to throw, it's dark. Looking to the big tight end. Complete to the right. Now with a great opportunity as they pick up the first down, they've got it at the 40. The offense wastes no time getting the timeout call. Just a few seconds remaining here as they try to put something up before halftime. Trying to find his man on first down. Oh, he's going to try to hit him deep. Pass is incomplete. The clock is down to nine. And this quarterback is living dangerously right now. Obviously, he threw a pick on the last drive. He's trying to complete that throw, but the defender gets a hand on it, tips it up in the air. That's oh, no. That is an oh, no situation. They're lucky that one hit the ground. And now on second down for this offense. Snares it outside. It's well. And that defense doesn't allow a cutback, and they get him out of bounds after a short game. Third and long, and he'll try to throw for it. Right on the money to the outside. He dragged the toe, and how about the ball placement? Only the receiver can get it. Looking to pass inside the red zone. And it's picked off for the third time today. And he will be run out of bounds on the return, so the damage is limited as we wrap up the first half. The Ducks will kick it off to start the second half. He'll start the return inside his five. Good job by the coverage unit to put a stop to that return. Ole Miss ready to send the offense onto the field. I imagine we'll see them go right back to work up top after how productive that passing game was in the first half. And it's interesting. If I'm the defense, and I've got the lead. They've had success throwing the football, but we're winning. I don't know that this defense changes too much of what they've done in the first half. I think they got to do a better job with pass rush. They might want to change their coverages as well because they're probably at this point exposed. And the quarterback goes down all the way back in his four-yard line. Well, the offense got themselves into trouble. They're back in their own end. It's an obvious passing situation. So the defense is just pinning their ears back, and they're trying to get after him. They could not allow him to escape, step up, get rid of the football. They take a sack very close to the goal line. Got it. Not exactly the ideal situation for this offense. Third and long, back up inside their 20. Looking downfield, and he needs a bunch. Can't make the connection on third down thanks to that tough, hard-nosed pass defense, and now it's fourth down. Well, you get the incompletion there on third down. You've still got a half of football, basically, to play. Do you trust your defense down one possession to get it back to give you a shot? If you don't, you've got to stay out there, and you've got to go for this, and you've got to dial up your best play to stay on the field. He'll bring it back. It's Johnson. He did a great job finding some running room on that return and was able to set up the offense with good field position. And Oregon has it back, and here comes the offense. 
And boy, they missed an opportunity last time throwing that pick in the red zone, David. Nah, and you got to put that frustration behind you. You can't turn it over. That's that's a cardinal sin. No better than that, Jesse. You can't take points off the board. But you got to move on. I, you do. I, I think he just got way too overeager down in, in the red zone that last drive. So just come out here, trust your reads, trust what your coaches have told you to do, and just go out and execute the offense. Keeping it on the ground with the single back. Picked up maybe a yard. It's down to the 16. And these defensive tackles just eat people. They swallow human beings when you get here. They're so big, so strong. And those guys, those running backs coming, they just need a man. They put one man on a running back, and he usually falls to the ground just because of their sheer mass and strength. Throws to the wideout. And they will score. Touchdown, Oregon. That's his third touchdown pass of the day. The defense has no clue how to respond right now. No, and the defense has had absolutely no answer. He's been on the money. He's been on fire, making the right decisions and just carving this defense up. Play the analytics here, and you go for two. Wide receiver now comes in motion. Looking to throw, it's Gabriel. And it just squirted through his hands. He wanted to take off and got too anxious. Lining up to cover the kick after that touchdown drive. Number 36, set to kick this low. And he takes this from inside the five. He gets a block. Got him. And there he goes. He will score. Touchdown, Ole Miss. He is headed to the sideline with a little bounce in his step after scoring on that kick return. And he should have some bounce in his step. How about the effort weaving in and out, covering all that space, great blocking on the play, and he does the rest. You don't put guys back deep that can't roll. And you can see that he got in the open field. Two-point conversion attempt is coming. An unforced error there. They don't get the snap off in time. So the decision has been made, and the coach will take the penalty. And perhaps a slightly more difficult attempt from the eight. And it's up and good as they draw just a touch closer. So a dynamite play there, 99 yards. He took it back for the touchdown. They're lining up for the kickoff, and let's see if this return team can answer with a score of its own. Not going to risk a return here. He'll make the fair catch. this drive. Got rid of it in a hurry, but he couldn't find his man. It's incomplete. It's pretty clear he didn't care about the double coverage. He thought his guy was better than their two guys. Well, and there's reason to think that. That dude's a stud, and, and I understand it. I, I want to find ways to get him the football, but when it's two on one, I might think about looking somewhere else. Fires to the wideout. Excellent coverage and good use of the hands to knock it away. You know, the defense just hasn't seemed to quite have an answer. They've come close to interceptions like that one there, but they haven't registered any so far. They've given up a few touchdown passes. They're just not quite able to make the plays they need to against the pass in this game. Back to pass, it's Gabriel. Fires it down the seat, and he throws his third pick of the day. His head has to be spinning. Oh, he was hoping to make something out of that return, but they'll have it first down at the 39. Have a day, young fella. Two interceptions already? That's, that's three, four, five, six games for some people. A hot start in catching the football. He's acting like he's playing wide receiver out there. I might think about trying a different DB. Power football with the run. 
He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. You see all this movement in football now. All this stem in the defensive line. They're sliding right before the snap, creating confusion for the offensive line. Then they're moving back and stunting. Really good job by the defense. Continue to move, continue to stunt, continue to get in the backfield and make this life hard on this running back. After getting knocked back to open this drive, it's second and 12. Quickly to the tight end. Excellent job rallying to the ball, and they knock him down. And the Rebels will hustle through the line. You know, I know it seems like an easy pitch and catch, but for the tight end there, that route potentially changes if it's man coverage. So good job by him knowing it's zone. I'm just going to sit down. This is basically like a check down, right? Let's just take the easy pitch and catch and keep this drive going. He gets the job done, picking up the first down, then getting down. The Rebels come to the line with a fresh set of downs. They'll throw it on first down. Fires to the tight end. Nice pitch and catch there, and they'll have enough for the first down. This offensive scoring position with a fresh set of downs. That throw and catch, a really good example of why coaches don't want a quarterback. And the quarterback caught up two and sacked at the 12. I think defenses sometimes get frustrated and you want to get blitz happy and because you give up yards. In this day and age, you're going to give up yards. Who cares? This is the area you're going to blow up. Nice job on first. And he feels the heat coming in. It burns him up. Another sack. The offense right now is moving in the wrong direction. They weren't able to get a touchdown on that first down play. Now giving up a negative play on second down. You better be very careful about this third down play call. They've gotten pushed back, but it's still third and goal. Green 25. Back to throw. It's dark. And a missed opportunity on third down as the defense knocks it free and fourth down is coming up. Really nice third down sub defense there at that time. It's third and long. They're expecting pass. And they're mixing up their looks. They're trying to change the picture pre-snap to post-snap to confuse the quarterback. Now forcing the incompletion, setting up four. Oh, and he missed it. No good. And they missed the opportunity to draw closer. Still down by five. The Ducks ready to go back to work on offense. After throwing the pick on the last drive, need to take care of the ball this time, Jesse. We're going to find out a lot about this quarterback right here, too. How does he fight through adversity after that last drive? Yeah, clear the mechanism, move on, and that's a part of it. He's going to be a great player. You've got to learn how to handle these mistakes and move on. Let's see what they've got on second down. The play-action fake. And the pass falls incomplete, and we have played three quarters. A third down play to get the quarter started. From the gun, wants to pass. Showing the arm strength to the left. Oh, and he gets downfield for the big catch. Afterburner's coming. Touchdown, Ducks! And once he got loose, it was all over. And with that one, he's now over three bills for the game. And there's two reasons why, Reese. He's made good decisions, and he's been accurate the throwing the football good. all game long. And he puts through the extra point. About to kick it off after punching it in for the touchdown. Ole Miss, 22. No shot to return that one as he boomed it out of the back of the end zone. The Ole Miss offense ready to go back to work. Jack Rabbit. He'll start this drive firing. Unloads to the right. He's got it. He will step out of bounds, but not before the big pickup and a first down for this offense. This defense better not blink. I know they've got a lead here in the fourth quarter, but just look at who they're going against. This quarterback is one of the best in the nation. They cannot rest on their laurels. Someone's going to have to make a play. 
He stopped just a chain link or two away from the first down and sets them up beautifully here. Yeah, and he's been throwing it all over the yard, and he's now over 300 yards on the day, so been a successful day. Now, 300 yards, I don't know, Palmer, 300 nowadays, that's like what back in the day for you? That would have been 500. I would have been high, maybe. It's a big deal today in college football, no doubt. Now, listen, he's in a rhythm right now. He's in a groove. We've seen good decision-making. He's been playing on time, and he's been deadly accurate throwing it. Guess what? This game is far from over. Line is set on third down. Here we go. He'll sneak it and try to surge forward. And David, on third and inches right there, that's often a decision the quarterback predetermines. Who's my best guard? That's the guy I'm going to try to get. And I know that defensively, too, but I'm just trying to dive and create a pile, but it's so hard to stop that play. That's why you see it ran so successful. And he breaks into the open. Finally run out of bounds, but he has his offense rolling with the first down. How nice is it as a quarterback when you don't have to throw post routes to get great stats? No, I can just throw it right to one of the fastest players in the entire nation and let him burn this defense. They'll run it out of the shotgun. Gets it inside the 10, picks up a yard. They'll mark it at the 9. This offensive line better figure out a plan for this team tackle. He is tough to block with one guy. You might want to start double-teaming him. He's going to be a problem moving forward. You saw all of his ability on that last one. Scanning the field. It's dark. Snag in the end zone. Touchdown, Rebel. So they get that score that they so desperately needed, and now they've got a chance to pull this one out. Defense has got to give them a chance. The defense needs to get the ball back to them quickly so they can march down the field and try and score and narrow the gap again. This offense, they have the playmakers to come back and win this football game, but they need some help in the defense. And the PAT will draw them one point closer. 76 yards on the drive for the touchdown. And they cap things off with a nine-yard touchdown pass. Here he comes from inside his own five. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic, but they get him on the ground at the 20. And Oregon has it back, and here comes the offense. And they've got a little bit of a cushion here, David. If they can add to it on this drive, it would be nice. And it definitely makes a little bit of a difference. Knowing I'm up by more than a field goal, obviously, Jesse, my mindset switches, and I know I can't make mistakes. Yeah, and David, I don't think they have to reinvent the wheel on offense here. What they've been calling has been working. Just get back to doing what you're good at. They'll snap this one from the 32. It's first down. Use the play fake. Now to throw. And that pressure just engulfed him. A sack for this defense. When it's a play action pass, that quarterback really has to sell the fake. He can't tell his offensive lineman's getting beat right away while he's selling the fake. He had no shot. the play fake and he was hit just as he was releasing the pass and it falls to the ground that is just great total defense on that play first off you get pressure you get to hit the quarterback but two you've got the intended target double cover there was no way the offense was going to get the completion on that play. it's third down now they ought to be able to get off one more play before the two minute warning Looking to throw, and he needs a bunch. He lets one, and it's intercepted. A huge fourth quarter play for this defense. And he's wrapped up after a solid return on the pick. Ready to send the 
offense onto the field. Man, what a drive last time for the touchdown. That passing attack was lethal, David. Yeah, and you know you hear all these stupid commentators like me and Jesse talking about great balance, you know, run and pass. No, when you throw that good, spin the ball around. So the defense has to find a way to affect the quarterback on this drive because last drive he had way too much time to throw. And the Rebels look to do some damage in the red zone. Dropping back, it's dark. Good timing on the quick out. Oh, no, the ball popped out. He is counting his lucky stars there. So lucky that ball went out of bounds and they're going to maintain possession because they've got to stay in field goal range at this juncture of the game in the second half. Every play matters, and moving forward, you know this guy's going to have two hands on the ball. So now the opportunity to take the lead with a first and goal here. Pre-snap motion quarterback trying to get a read. He caught it! And he was dying to push his way in there, but he's knocked down at the three. This quarterback right now is in the blue, and he's doing a nice job in the pre-snap. He's reading the coverage, and he's getting an idea of where he wants to go with the football. That's why the ball's coming out of his hands so quickly, and that's why he seems like he's in a great rhythm right now. Timeout called here by the defense. It's their first of the half. Timeout. Got nothing last time. Now second and goal from the three. He's looking to throw. Touchdown, Ole Miss! They take the lead with the six. Really good execution by this offense. Late in the game, under a minute, score to take the lead. It's what you draw up, it's what you dream about. But now, my defense has to go on the field and give me one more stop. On the run, it's dark. He's got it in the end zone. You had to go for two there, and they make it pay off. They're up by three. Quick work on that scoring drive, just four plays. And the clutch late score that almost certainly will be the game winner. Cover the kick after that touchdown drive. No return coming. He'll call for the fair catch. Clear the mechanism. It's over. Move it behind you. Some players can't do that real well, and it leads to more mistakes, Jesse. You've got to just forget about it. And I think the coaching staff can help him, too, David. I think you can get the running game going here and also give him some easy throws. Got to move quickly here. They need to get it to field goal range. On second down, he'll fire. And that is incomplete. This really has been a master class by the quarterback with decision making, right? We've already seen him throw multiple touchdown passes in the game. He's understood when to take his shots and when to throw it away when things aren't there. Like got to get everybody lined up quickly. Time winding away. They've got to push the ball down the field. Here's a throw downfield late. And they wanted it all on third down, but now dealing with fourth down. 
Well, they're down in possession, and they're on their own side of the 50, so they need a big one right here. They've just thrown three straight incompletions, but it just takes one. It just takes one big play down the field to all of a sudden get that momentum and that juice flowing again to give yourselves a chance to win. Incomplete on fourth down, and man, did they need to keep that drive alive. Nice job on this defense in a clutch moment. You knew they were going to throw the football fourth down. Great coverage, break on the football, force the incompletion, and more importantly, you get the ball back to your offense with a chance to just run this clock and get out of here with a win. Well, points weren't the issue, guys, but they couldn't string together enough stops to get the victory. Yeah, good news, bad news scenario, I guess. Good news is you're going to score. This offense looks like they can be explosive and they can light up the scoreboard. Bad news, though, David, they've got a lot to clean up on the defensive side of the ball. Yeah, and welcome to college football nowadays, right? This is how it works, a ton of points. Defenses learn as you go, but you've got to get better. You've got to force some turnovers, create those negative plays. Just can't give up so many points. That's going to do it for us. For Jesse Palmer, David Pollock, our entire broadcast team, I'm Reese Davis. This has been another presentation of EA Sports College Football.